Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you from Sarasota, Florida, my temporary winter home. Um, today I have a special treat for you. The Totally Techniques design team is playing with gilded leafing. You guys know what this stuff is, right? I am going to show you a really pretty card and a very interesting way to use this product. All of the products, or I mean, all the projects today are going to be featuring the gilded leafing. So I hope you will join the hop when you get done watching the video. Please head over to my blog. There will be a link under the description of the video if you're watching it on YouTube. If you're on my blog getting this as a subscriber, you can scroll down until you see little thumbnail pictures of everybody else's projects. Click on one, it'll take you to the next blog. Look for those thumbnails again, click on the next one. You can go on the blog hop, see what everybody's making today with gilded leafing. Let's get started. We are going to be starting this project off with what supplies we're using. So I've got the Regency Park 6x6 designer series paper. Absolutely beautiful, colorful springtime paper. I love this. We are going to be using the Brilliant Wings dies for a little butterfly. I've also got the sentiment silhouette dies and they cut out all of these words as well as some interesting little images like um, a candle, heart, star, all kinds of little goodies in there. Again, this is called the sentiment silhouettes bundle with the um, dies with the charming sentiment. So we've got both of those happening here. I'm going to be using Knight of Navy ink. I'm gonna show you a little tip about our tear and tape. I've got my liquid glue, my silicone craft sheet. I'm also going to be using the second largest circle from the stylish shape dies. And um, of course, our gilded leafing. So one of the things that's recommended with gilded leafing is to have a container that's fairly good size. You wanna be very careful when you open this because this is like as light as air. It floats all over. So I'm gonna put my leafing right in this container. You can pour it all in there. You can pour out half, whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna just store mine right in this container. So when I get done, I can just put this lid on, but you can see this kind of floating around. It's super, super light, which is kind of fun to work with. I've also got some sponge daubers. Now you can use your finger for the technique we're gonna use, or you can use a dauber or a fairly firm paintbrush. So let's get started here. I've got a circle. This is the second largest stylish shape circle. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to pour out a little puddle of glue here, maybe, there we go. And you can use your finger, you can use a dauber, you can use a sponge, you can do whatever you want. I like to use my finger so I can make sure I am getting this all the way over to the edge. You wanna make sure that you have glue on your whole piece here. We're gonna set that aside to dry. And I've got a baby wipe here so I can wipe off my finger you can wipe off your craft mat right away. You can let it dry and just peel it off like this. There's lots of different ways to um, clean off your craft sheet. I've got one over here that I have allowed to dry. So you can see there's glue all over this. I'm gonna wipe my fingers off one more time. I don't wanna get gilded leafing all over them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this piece with the glue side down and I'm going to make sure that I get the gilded leafing all over here. Now you can see it's kind of floating around so you have to be careful with this. This is a beautiful product. product. I would keep my little handheld vacuum cleaner close and thank goodness I have to clean when I'm done with this video. So if I get any, any place, I'll be able to Clean that up quickly. Oh, I want to put just a little bit more right there. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm just kind of dusting off all the big pieces. You can also do this with your fingers if you want. We're going to try and keep all of this inside 
our container. Look at how gorgeous that is. I just, I love how this turns out. Okay, hang tight. See if I can get it off my fingers. There we go. I'm gonna set that aside for a second. The other thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to take a piece of this designer series paper. And I, let's see, this piece is three and a half. I'm gonna cut it to five and a quarter. And now I'm just going to tear it. And I'm gonna do a controlled tear where you kind of hold this edge, keep your thumb moving along so it doesn't get too out of control. Now, once I've torn this off, we're left with all oh, about two and three quarters inches. I am going to take that glue again. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna use my fingers. This works best for me and I'm going to, I can keep control over it. I'm going to rub my fingers right down the edge of my paper, okay? We're gonna let that dry. Don't forget to wipe your finger off. You don't wanna have glue all over. Now we're done with this, I'm gonna set it aside. I'll clean that up later. I've already got one that I tore and you can see the shiny glue on there. Now when you use our liquid glue, if you let it dry, it's still tacky and that's what I'm looking for here. So I'm gonna bring this back in here and I am going to touch that tacky edge into my gilded leafing. And then I'm just going to pull it right off. And this is going to leave us with a really pretty gold leafed edge on the side of our designer paper. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And now I think we are ready to make the rest of our card. So I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. I like to use this as my stamping surface. I've got the Charming Sentiments. Oh, we're gonna do something with that tear and tape too. I almost forgot. So we're gonna stamp this first. Let me make sure I have Night of Navy ink. And the great thing about this particular bundle is that it has all of these images that will cut out all the greetings in here. So fun, right? So I'm going to add my die that corresponds to wishing you everything wonderful. I love this sentiment because you can send this card to just about anybody. Take some temporary tape, put this in place. I'm going to die cut this. I'll be right back. And here is our sentiment. Isn't that cool? I love that you don't have to cut it yourself. Next thing we're gonna do, I told you we were gonna use some tear and tape. So I am going to add a three quarter inch strip of coordinating cards or designer series paper to my four by five and a quarter inside white layer. And by the way, you guys, you'll find a link under my YouTube video to my blog right to this direct blog post where you're gonna find all of the dimensions and still photos and a complete ingredient list of the colors I've used and all of those types of things. Um, I'm gonna take my tear and tape and I'm going to put it right down. Should I put it in the center? Should I put it, I'm gonna put it over to the side. I think that's gonna look neat. You could put this any place you wanted I'm gonna put it right on my paper. Make sure you have it pushed down good. Oh, that looks a little crooked, darn it. Well, it is what it is, right? And then I'm going to use my scissors to trim that right along the edge. So we've used glue with the gilded leafing now we're going to use tear and tape. And I, I like to use my take your pick tool to pop that backing off of there. Oops, I see I've still got a little piece on my finger. And now we've got that tape exposed. We're gonna bring that into our leafing. And I just pushed it in there good. 
and I'm going to dust it off. And again, you could use a dauber, you can use a toothbrush works good, any type of a brush that has stiff bristles. I'm gonna grab my dauber, maybe if I can get it out of here. Burnish this good, it's gonna shine it up, it's gonna take off any strands that are kind of hanging over the side. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? You can do this on anything you want. Okay, now we're gonna finish up the rest of our card. We have one more thing to do here. I am going to take one of the butterflies out of the gorgeous, brilliant wings die set. This is a fabulous, you get six different butterflies in here. One, two, three, four, five different butterflies in here. I'm gonna die cut that on a piece of petal pink and I chose that color because it matches my designer paper. Hang tight. Here comes our butterfly. Here comes our everything wonderful and our card base is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half and we're going to start adding our elements. This designer paper is just the other side of the gorgeous Regency Park paper. I am going to put this over here on this side. It is two by five and a quarter. I made it a little wider just so that I would know that it would, that my floral layer would go over it nicely. I didn't know how much I was gonna tear off of there. So I wanted to be careful that I didn't get that too narrow. I'm just gonna lay this right on top. Make sure that it meets up here good. Oh my goodness, isn't that so pretty? I love this. Now my idea with this, was, hang on, I'm gonna push this down good. My idea with this was to add this right about here. So I'm gonna grab my dimensionals and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this. I like to use my take your pick tool to pop those off. I'm gonna put those ooh, right about here, not in the center, but down a little bit. That just draws a little bit of interest. Then I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this layer, our sentiment. That looks good. Ooh, so pretty, right? Get that on here. And then I wanted to bring that butterfly in I think right here is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna take, let's see, I don't know if a mini dimensional will actually fit right in that spot. Ooh, I think it does. Right in the body spot right there. And I'm going to bring that in and set it right here. Ugh. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to need any embellishments. So I brought out a couple different ones. These are the gold faceted adhesive backed and I thought those might look nice over here on the blue. We also have these that have blue that matches the blue and the flowers. We have the petal pink here, and I think I'm gonna stick with the gold. So I'm gonna use the gold faceted adhesive backed sequins. And let's see, what would that look like on my butterfly? You guys are getting the first view of this card. I haven't actually made it except to figure out what I was gonna do here. <laughs> so we're in this together, right? Oh, look at that. What do you think? I love that little bit of bling there. Let's get this inside in here with that strip of gold on there. We're gonna put this right in here. I also have a or a basic white envelope and I added the same designer series paper to the flap and trimmed around so we have a nice little matching set here. 
So that's gilded leafing, you guys. It's a little bit of a mess, but as you can see, it is so very, very elegant. I absolutely love it. With glue on a torn edge, with glue on a die, and tear and tape. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Now, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And make sure you check out the link below the YouTube video if you're not on my blog. And go hop along and see what all the other Totally Techniques design team members have made using the Gilded Leafing. I think it's going to be beautiful. Have yourselves a great weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.